two is the load. Um, these things look like they're going to come forward. I don't know. I haven't done these kind of loads, but we use the V boards and then we use the plastic protection for those. And then, uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm not liking this load at all. Um, as you can see, these things lean forward. So I'm not sure you can see this one or you kind of, I hope these stay. <laughs> That's the only thing. Uh, they look pretty sketchy, but so two there in the front because that box up there, we put the two straps in between that. Uh, and if you guys get like shingles or anything, you tarp, you have one in the middle, put your boards just like this. So when you put the tarp, it'll be nice and square onto the tarp. So if you guys got a pallet right there in the middle, put the uh, eight foot V boards like that. So it'll ride nice and clean and you won't have that balloon part sticking out. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, you guys, so we're here in another dirt lot. Uh, this route sucked, bunch of hills. And I'm actually pretty pissed off. <laughs> um, this is one negative thing about Central Oregon. Um, they routed you up this this way, just all 25 mile up hills, down, up, down, up, just going slow as hell. I couldn't even get to Hope Pike Travel Center, not even close. Uh, I haven't showered now, this will be the second day. And it's the second day I ran my clock. My drive and my 14 was running together. So I actually driven less because my 14 and I'm in a dirt lot again for tonight. Uh, the other way to New Mexico where we're going, you could have took the 17 and I could have done a 34 at Flagstaff. Uh, you could say, yeah, call them, but they've been really picky on about where to go. And this route solution is the worst route solution. The best solution is taking the 17 to Flagstaff, drop down to the 40. Uh, you're, they want to say it's 25 more miles, but those 25 miles, you're burning more on fuel. By climbing up all these hills on the 277, 377, 87, whatever all this crap is, is it a waste of time, waste of fuel. So uh, one negative thing that Central Oregon does is they don't look at hills and time. They're just saying, you're taking a longer route. But in essence, you're sitting there like it's time and fuel. So if it's 25 miles more miles to do less hills and to drive 65 instead of 28, for half of this trip since I got from um, Tempe, Arizona, all the way up here. I literally was averaging 42 miles just to get to this dirt lot. And um, it's just frustrating, man. So uh, I, it's just been a frustrating day and this is the most frustrating I've ever been. Uh, I know shit like this is gonna happen. Uh, it's just a, of everything. I worked my ass off to drop a load off early I should have just dropped the load off Friday, you know, maybe not got this Arizona load and got a better weekend load because uh, this is only 400 miles. So you take the chance when you drop the load off early that you'll get a better load. I understand the freight. I understand all that. Just It's just frustrating. And I would rather have a 34 at Flagstaff and roll out like Sunday and stay the night at the 90 on Sunday. Now I can't take a 34 today. I'm gonna to take it tomorrow. And I gotta decide if I wanna take a 34 at the 90. Uh, it is a good size city. Might just get a hotel and just cool off. Uh, might be the plan, I'm gonna look at hotels. Um, there's overnight parking at the 90, so. But yeah, that's my frustration. I'm going to bed. Uh, like I said, the reason why I'm just pissed is because of showers, man. You know, I untarped, went to bed dirty, which I have um, dude wipes and stuff like that. And then today, untarped, tarped to no load, and still no shower. So, tarping, untarping, three loads in two days, and no shower. I feel like a bum, but. First thing we do tomorrow when we roll out here, we're going to get a shower. <laughs> so once we get on the 40, I see the first line Jayer loves, I'm gonna hit it. So I am going to go cool off and uh, go to bed and hopefully something better tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna make some steaks right now. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys 
uh, some more food, how I cook and stuff. Truck is a mess, so enough of me bitching. I'm gonna go eat dinner and go to bed. <laughs> See you guys later. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Herbert, uh, Arizona. We're here in the dirt lot. Uh, we found a little spot right here in the corner. Uh, if you guys come down this way, there's a place called June's Cafe. Uh, I didn't get a chance, but if you guys look at the reviews, great reviews. Uh, they got tons of cars out there, so it looks like a really popular place. I wish I could hit it, but uh, we don't got time. But I did mark it to whenever ever I come out here, which is going to be never probably, because I hate this 260 and this whole drive up here. So I'll probably never come up here, but in any case, I will hit this uh, when I get a chance. Uh, it's got really good reviews. Uh, so the plan is we only have, like I said, 250 miles. Uh, I haven't looked yet, but once we hit the 40, I'm gonna see if there's a Blue Beacon and, uh, and a Walmart somewhere around the area. I might hit the Walmart once I get to the 90, because there's Lowe's, there's, it's a bigger city. So I know there's gonna be a Walmart. So I might do that. I got all the time in the world. So I might go do a little shopping at a Target if it's close by Walmart stuff like that so uh, we're in no hurry I can get to that 90 by say 8 o'clock at night and still be alright because they don't uh, receive to like 7 or 8 I haven't looked at it but I think he I think it said about 7 or 8 so uh, plan is to hit the first flying J loves and take a shower like I said I will upload it I don't care like I told you guys I don't edit what I say or what I do uh, I was really pissed off last night and part of it is Central Oregon part of it is it is what it is out here in truck driving it's just frustrating but not everything's perfect you'll never find a perfect truck company you'll never find a perfect situation things like this will happen and then you'll see next week everything is rainbows and unicorns so truck driving is not always perfect you're going to have issues at shippers and receivers you're going to have issues with your loads you're going to have issues with everything you know it's just going to happen so it's okay to be frustrated and uh got to move on and have a positive day and i just need a shower <laughs> i think that will make everything feel better so that's what we're going to do i'm getting out of here we'll see you guys later what's up everyone we are here in the Arizona New Mexico border. Uh, New Mexico will be about a mile up here, but I really, on this 40, I really love this little part. Just the rocks and everything. Uh, there's a spot right here on the left you can pull in if you're going westbound. Uh, I've been there before. You can actually get pretty close and hike up there. Uh, plan on doing it maybe on the way back if they give us a load. Rest area. Um, usually, when I hit this rest area, it's very late or way too early. I've only done it once, but one of my favorite rest areas is right there. You can all walk right up to this rock. There's like a little path and everything. Uh, I'll do a video one day if I can get here early enough. But uh, we're about 70 miles from the Loves. Finally, get a shower. <laughs> about two hours away from the 90 uh, from that Loves. We're gonna try to hit a Walmart. Uh, so when I get to Loves, I'll look for a Walmart. I don't think there's a truck wash because you know, it's gonna be a four mile drive uh, to the 491 from Loves. So we're not gonna be on this 42 long. There's New Mexico. New Mexico True welcomes you. Hoping to get a truck wash, but uh, looks like it's not gonna happen. But yeah, we'll see you guys at Loves. All right, you guys, rolling out here. We just got our shower. Uh, this Loves is Gallup is horrible. I've been here before, so I expected it already. Jog the two hours up. And uh, try 
gonna hit a Walmart, and then uh, I'm gonna decide once we get there. Uh, the hotels are like $70, $80 a night. Uh, I'm going to get a hotel and just relax. It's gonna be the plan, but probably not gonna get a hotel, but we'll see. Uh, one thing we're trying to look for is a Walmart. Still don't know what to use for it. Oh, there's a Blake's Lotta Burger. Get out. Oh, you guys see right here on the right? Really good burgers. I'm telling you, it's probably top five, top eight best burgers I've ever had. Blake's Lotta Burgers is right here. Man, if I was hungry, I would have walked from the Walmart. Walmart's right there in the front. I don't know if I can put a truck in there. The one I went to you, I did a video while back. There's a dirt lot for one. They have, actually have a dirt lot for trucks. This one, not so much. I really didn't scoop this, scoop this uh, area view of this Walmart, but we're gonna wing it. I like winging it. It's more exciting. Just gonna find out. That truck right there is just. trucks. Huh, I love it. We're going to do it. Uh, ha, leave. Says no trucks, but we're going to pull in here. We need some Walmart shopping, guys. make that left turn and I need to make sure no cars will get in front of me to do it okay. so probably right here will be good all right we're gonna go get some Walmart shopping we're gonna chill out here for a little bit um, I'm gonna look if, there, if there's anything around here we, like I said we have Plenty of time, we're 2.2 miles. I could do a 34 at Walmart, but uh, don't really want to, so. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go shopping. See you guys later. All right, you guys, we're here at the Walmart. I spent 45 minutes looking for my wallet. <laughs> Couldn't find it. I went underneath the head of crap, I mean, underneath the bed, 
pulled everything out, went to the front, to the back. Still couldn't find it, so I gave up. It's about to cancel some stuff, some of my cards. And right inside where my bag of water is, it was right in there the whole time. So I was backtracking where I use my wallet because I don't use it too often. I usually go out to drink or I'll use it to uh, where places don't accept Apple Pay. So like Walmart and stuff like that. So I rarely take it out of the truck and uh, I just couldn't imagine where I would have put it. So I'm happy that happened, but it's 4.30 now. Uh, we gotta get the shopping done pretty quick. Uh, I wanna get in there before dark just so I can see um, where to park. The guy says only one driveway, don't block where the cars are. So I'm gonna aerial view it. We're only like two minutes down the road. So we're gonna do the shopping pretty quickly. We'll see you guys later. All right, you guys. Uh, we just got done with Walmart. Like I said, it's just down the road from here. So we're gonna make it right here on Miller Avenue. We'll be here for a 34. I've never done a 30. I can't remember doing a 34 at a shipper or a receiver. So it's gonna be a little different, but the logic behind it is if I stayed at that Loves, it was two hours away. Um, since we didn't have a really good week, I need every minute to run tomorrow. So, because uh, we can run a little bit Monday, make some money, try to run the whole day. Maybe try to hit it to, I don't know where my miles are, but I know I'm not looking good because I have still 17 hours to drive. So we're gonna do our 34 here. Uh, hopefully we don't need to use the number two because I did use it, so. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna walk over there and see if there's like a gas station, kind of map it out, maybe walk down there. So we'll see you guys on Monday. Adios. What's up everyone? So I saw a leak right over here. I don't know if you guys see it. That was coming out of my, uh, out of my truck, but there's nothing there. So I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, so the. The guy, the owner or whoever he is, he's the big boss here. Uh, they came in, they had a project and they were doing some work today, which they were supposed to be on Sunday, but he didn't have his forklift driver uh, to unload me. So he told me, my advice, he's like, I don't want to tell you what to do, but he's like, my advice is to untarp this tonight because it's going to get like 35 or 37 degrees um, in the morning. So it's going to be cold. Uh, even this morning I woke up, it was like 38, 39 had to turn the heater on a little bit. Got really cold last uh, last night. So he okayed us done tarps and we try to do it right now while the sun is up. And then uh, in the morning, 
we'll just pull on in and take the straps off. He told me not to take the straps off yet. It's not the best area. Uh, there's a lot of homeless people here. And he said the neighborhood is not as good. But he said you should have a problem here. But you can always tell when they have barbed wires and stuff. Not the best area. So we're going to um, untarp right now. The Raiders are up 24 at halftime. So we're going to get this thing untarped. And we're going to watch the rest of the Raiders game. I'm so excited, man. The Raiders are finally good after finding Josh McDaniels. So I'm excited again for football. So we're going to do this pretty quickly. It only takes me about 30 minutes, 45 minutes to untarp it. I want to show you guys one more thing, too. Look what I did. This is the prime tarp. And uh, I couldn't find the right, like, spray paint. So I just taped it with this Gorilla Tape for now. As you guys can see, this back one, I used a tarp patch. And then I used a little bit of tape. You still can see the prime but uh, that's going to be our project when I go home. I'm going to try to find um, a really good like spray paint or some type of paint where it will stay on. Uh, I try to research how to take this thing off, but there's no way. I don't see anything online for me to take the logo off. I got to somehow cover it. So that's going to be the project. Uh, worst case scenario, I'm thinking of going to Sharps Tarps and ask them how much it would cost to take this off or paint it. If it's something like 50 bucks, I'm gonna do it. But if they're gonna try to charge me a lot, I ain't gonna do it. So I'm gonna call Sharp Starps Monday and just get all my options and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna get this untarped and then we'll go watch the Raiders game. I showed you guys the tarp job, but here it is. Do a quick little video on it. It's pretty simple. This is why I use the steel tarps. It's a short load. These are perfect for it. As you guys see, I tried to cover the Prime logo. <laughs> but these are really easy to tarp. Um, I showed you guys a trick with the V-board, the foot one that goes across, so it's nice and square. You don't have a dip or anything. So uh, this one back here is pretty good. We actually used the tarp patch, um, but I love this tarp. This is my favorite tarp. Uh, if you guys ever get a steel tarp, get one just like this because all the D-rings are perfect where they're at. You can flip it the other way as an eight-foot drop. So say if like some crazy reason we get a whole 48 foot drop trailer and we just need to cover the middle a little more or something happens this is a perfect tarp to do that to turn it the long ways so i love this tarp i'll never give it up <laughs> so uh we're here at the receiver uh we're gonna get this on tarp right now and then uh, in the morning we'll unstrap and get unloaded what's up everyone so it's about 10 o'clock at night i'm about to go to bed um uh, i'm gonna end the video here as you guys saw, I untarped and uh, be ready to roll about 5.30 in the morning, I think, is when they get in. Forgot to ask the guy. I should have, but I blanked out when he was here. So, uh, got some update. The GoPro at Walmart did get a memory card, so I got the two GoPros now. I got the 11 and the 12. So, we're going to do some better videos with two GoPros. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. Still waiting out for more ideas that you guys want in these videos and want to see uh, i'm gonna try to do better on making videos i do sometimes get all worked up and get busy and i forget to sometimes hit the gopro or hit record or whatever it is so um we are full effect now so so start tomorrow uh i promise you we're gonna do the video i've always wanted to do where it's exactly everything i do step by step so that's from putting my deep part in i'll show you guys how to do that from getting on my new loads uh interacting with customers uh doing the unloads and loads the securements just a whole step by step exactly what i do and then if i see anything kind of cool out here uh, i'll have the gopro mounted on the dash full time so that is going to be the deal uh, and then secondly uh, Prime is hiring, full effect. So even though I'm with Central Oregon, I have a lot of people that are at Prime as my friends. Uh, and I really do think, in my opinion, I've always said this, go to Prime to start off. Don't go there for long term. So when people ask me like, hey, I really want to come to Central Oregon, but I've just got my license. I always tell people just go to Prime be there for a year or two, whatever you feel like is great experience for you. And then come to Central Oregon is always been my opinion. So the application for Prime is in the description. Use my friend's uh, code. Email me when you do. 
he's going to do the inside stuff of, at Prime, and you're going to interact with both of us. So when you have questions about Prime, him and I will both answer. Uh, my friend is trainer of the year. He's also backing champion of the year. So he is one of the best trainers out here at Prime. So uh, if you use the link and say, hey, I came to Prime, I really want him as my trainer. There might be a chance you get him. So if you put your application in and then they tell you when you're gonna come in, we he can find out and let you know like, hey, I'm upgrading a student to get his license in two weeks. After that, I'll take you. So that's what using the referral is gonna help with is, is that. You have two people to help you, whatever questions you have out there at Prime. Uh, if you guys already have the experience and wanna to come to Central Oregon, the application's down there too. I'll answer any questions. I deal with Cole, so if you guys put an application in, please reach out to recruiting and ask for Cole to take the application. Do it right away. Or call me and say, I mean, email me and say, hey, I'm about to put the application in. Give me your information. So I call Cole right away and say, hey, this, this person is putting an application right now. Look out for them. So Cole's easy to deal with. He's pretty cool. And, um, we have a good relationship on helping you guys come to Central Oregon. So that's going to be it. I'll see you guys on the next video tomorrow. I appreciate every single one of you guys subscribing, coming to Central Oregon. I really appreciate everything, all the love, all the compliments you guys give, saying like, hey, your videos helped. Hey, thanks for letting me come to Central Oregon. Your videos helped. Whatever it is, you know, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Stay safe. Peace out.